he seems really committed just again from from watching practices and um you know i can't remember if that was something that regularly sort of happened in in lull's last off season but has he shown you know a, a big commitment to improving that part of his game from what you've seen i wouldn't say it's any more than than he's always uh done you know we did we've done that kind of during these special teams period sort of that the past uh few years that we've been together we would take that time and, and work on uh, different routes or different ball skills, uh, different drills to work on ball skills and things like that. So um, I don't know that we're emphasizing any any more than we had in the past, but certainly we're looking to improve that part of his game. Kyle? Darrington Evans looks like the guy on this roster when he's out there uh, that really has that extra gear and obviously is a huge threat if you if – you, throw it to him out of the backfield. That sort of uh, change up, change of style, change of look uh, from Derek, uh, how much of a, of a headache do you feel like, or hope, I guess, uh, that that can be um, if you can get him in there and, and have him be able to operate this offense and be a kind of a, a curveball to Derek, just thundering and powering on people? Well, you know, as you look around the league, a lot of teams – uh, are doing it with multiple backs. And so that's the goal, you know, that if we can get uh, multiple backs playing, uh, obviously it's a long season, you know, hopefully we're playing well into February or, you know, so um, it, would, it would be good to have multiple backs that can help us uh, in different ways. And certainly they, they are two different running styles and, and that was the idea. Um, when we looked for a second back, a back in the draft was to get someone that was different from Derek. Uh, and, and he fit and Darrington fit those things that we were looking for as a staff. And he's to- obviously, sorry, he's obviously missed some time here, but in the time that you have seen him, uh, what has he shown you? Um, and, and I guess as a sort of a piggyback to that, a guy who never fumbled, I think, during college to get a couple early in camp, do you just almost shrug that off? Or what, what kind of conversation is that with, with you guys? No, you never shrug it off. Um, obviously, you know, ball security is, is the number one thing, you know, for running back. If we don't hold on to the ball, then the rest of it means nothing. So we never shrug it off. We're looking for ways, trying to figure out why it's happening and then get it corrected uh, between myself uh, and him watching film together and studying wh- where, the, where the issue is and then uh, trying to get that corrected. Um, and as far, what, what was the first part of that again? I'm sorry. Oh, as far as him being in the field and, and what he's Yeah, done. what you've seen from him so far. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a very conscientious kid, very uh, smart kid mentally. So he, he's, he picks things up well uh, and so you know, he's, it's, an, it's allowed him to play fast and show some of those uh, skills that he has in terms of being an explosive runner. Um, you know, he's been able to catch the ball out of the backfield and do some of those things. And uh, he's done a, a really decent job with, with the uh, pass game, whether it be catching ball or, or protecting. So we're just looking to build on that each day that we're out there at practice. Paul? Hey, Tony, I'm sorry if you've spoken about it already. Uh, I'm wondering about blasting games versatility. Um, I know you might have – you get a new guy coming in, but uh, you've been giving him a lot of carries and a lot of chances when he's not playing fullback. Um, it's obviously a bonus if you can get that out of a guy from his position. Talk me through his skill set and, and, uh, and the reasons you feel confident uh, calling his number. Well, one of the things that, you know, in Oregon, you know, we're looking for guys that can do a lot of different things. Uh, and so, you know, we got Kari you know, late in the season last year. So we just, we had kind of picked him into a specific role and wanted to go into the offseason. And so we had him. He has uh, some abilities. Uh, he moves well, runs well, catches the ball well. Um, and certainly he can get out and be a lead blocker. So, you know, when you look back at his co- uh, college career, he played multiple places. You know, he played both offense and defense. Uh, so we, you know, when we got him, obviously we were excited about the different things that, that he had, the different skill sets. So 
Uh, now we, you know, unfortunately, sometimes things happen. And so we get opportunity, other guys get opportunities and we want to see what he could do in terms of uh, running the ball, catching the ball out of the backfield, want to find out how he would protect uh, as a halfback. And he's been um, doing an excellent job for us. Uh, and so obviously the more that you do, you catch, you know, you catch the attention of the coordinator, the head coach, and, and then they give you more. You know, it's like anything else, the better you do it, something you, you provide some more opportunities for yourself. And he's been doing that, and he's certainly taken advantage of every opportunity you get. Appreciate it. If you don't mind, we're just going to kind of hang out and see um, and wait until other reporters kind of bounce in and out. Um, so I think we have you until 145, if that still works with you. Yes, ma'am, that's good. Perfect, thank you. Kyle, if you wanna jump in, go ahead. Yeah, I just wonder, just, just as you sort of studied Evans uh, and what you saw him do in college, what excited you the most? Any, or if there, was there any specific play or what kind of group of plays that you, you saw really pop on, on film of him and, and thought I'd like to see what we could do with somebody like this? Well, I felt like he could, you know, he had the potential to play as a three down back, you know, and anytime you can get a guy that uh, can do that for your organization, I believe it's, it's a plus, you know, um, he ran some similar schemes to what we have, um, you know, certainly he had the ability to hit a home run, you know, uh, from a speed element, looked like he was, he was really a disciplined runner uh, and did what he's supposed to do. Then you see him protect. You know, obviously having a, a receiver background, uh, you knew that he could run routes and catch the ball. And then you see him, you know, go out there and, and return kicks and, you know, on a bigger stage, you know, return one for a touchdown uh, there, I believe, against Penn State. So you saw a lot of different things, you know, that he brings to the table. Uh, and, and obviously, like we talked about Kari, uh, when, when he shows that he can do all those different things that he's asked to do, obviously there's going to be the mental ca capability there to handle a lot of different things. And so that always excites you when you, when you know you're getting a guy that can handle a lot of things mentally and then has the, the uh, skill set um, and the runner that you're looking for. And then, you know, that speed and burst to be able to uh, create help create explosive plays for the offense and in the kicking game. Thank you. If I could jump in, if nobody else is, is in here right now. Um, I talked to Scott Satterfield at Louisville, who obviously coached him at App State. And he said at the Combine, I don't know if you were in the group, he said some of the Titans coaches were, were just chatting with him about players and sort of just casually – uh, mentioned Evans said he didn't even realize you guys were looking at him, but but you always have your ears <laughs> out there uh, listening for guys. Were were you part of that uh, conversation, or did you have any conversations with those guys that coached him at App State uh, before the draft? No, I didn't. I wasn't a part of that. Nope. Okay. Jim, if you want to jump in. Okay, Tony, how you doing? How you doing, Jim? I'm doing great. Appreciate the time. Uh, yeah, it seems like on a pretty regular basis, you know, you've got Derek and when there's their break in acts and just kind of working on him, uh, you know, obviously trying to help him be more comfortable catching the ball. I mean, how, how do those sessions come about? That's something he said, hey, let's do this. You, you pull him aside. And, and what are you guys trying to maybe accomplish in some of those one-on-one that you have when there's a break in action? Well, as I mentioned earlier, you know, part of the organization, you know, is when we're on the field, everyone's working. Uh, and then obviously at the end of a season, we, we do our own evaluation of ourselves, our players. And obviously that's one of the areas that he wants to improve. In. And if it's going to help the team, then, you know, obviously as coach, you want to help them improve in, improve in that area. 
So we just get out there and we just try to find different things each day that we can work to improve where sometimes you don't, uh, you run out of time an individual to get some of those things. So we just try to find time, whether it be pre-practice or special teams uh, times or even right. post times to work on something specific. And, and obviously get, Derek is ultra competitive and he wants to be the best player that he can be. He wants to be the best player uh, in his position. So he just, you know, he wants to work on things that he feels he needs to improve on just like myself. And we just kind of, Hey man, let's work on this today. Or let's work on that and, and work to improve at it. Do you see an improvement there since you've been working with him? <laughs> I'm supposed to say yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think, yes, I have seen an improvement, you know, uh, and, and the biggest thing is just, is just the attitude of wanting to get better and, and never being satisfied where you are uh, from both myself uh, wanting to prove as a coach and, and then obviously wanting him to be the best player that he can be. And it's awesome working with a guy that wants to improve and wants to work on thing and things and wants to get better each and every day and each and every time that we're out at practice. And, and Kari, uh, obviously been getting a little work with guys, some guys out. I mean, when you look at his skill set, I mean, how much versatility does he bring? He can play some fullback, he can run the ball, I know he can help on special teams. How do you like him as a player since you've been around him since the midway point of last year? I've enjoyed coaching Kari uh, a ton. You know, he is a he, – he loves playing football. He's in here all the time wanting to get better. The same way you see me uh, and Derek, uh, interact on the field during those periods. Kari is kind of the same way. He's usually the first one in here in a meeting room in the mornings, and he wants to go over what happened in practice the day before. He wants that we go through. He wants to go through the script and what's on the script for practice and what's there that's different or new or you know. So he 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 is always here. He's always in here, and and he is eager to get better. Uh, and you know he understands that he has some. Uh, versatility and and he's taking advantage of every opportunity he gets to and you know we'll see where it goes you know it's one of those things that the more you can do to help the team the more opportunities you'll get and when you take advantage of them you'll continue to get more opportunities and, and i've got one last one on darrington you know, a rookie obviously is has to make adjustments in a lot of areas how much how much of your job is is not only just coaching technique and getting the most out of those guys in the field, but also trying to give them a boost maybe when you're not on the field as they go through, you know, growing pains and ups and downs in their first year in the league. Well, Darrington is, is, a, is a really sharp kid uh, from the mental standpoint. He, he understands football, you know, and obviously, you know, things change and you know, there's a lot of things happening fast for him. But he, like Kari, is in here every morning. Uh, Kari beats him in here a lot of times, but he's usually not more than about five minutes behind him. Uh, and so, you know, he comes in every morning, the same thing as Kari, wants to watch film, wants to uh, watch what happened yesterday, watch film from the last season. You know, uh, there's even times he might text me at night and ask me about a specific play or something. So he's, he's, he's doing a lot of studying on his own, and then he comes in and spends a lot of time uh, in the mornings before practice and meetings uh, with myself, and then he'll come in and or stay five minutes after, ten minutes after the meeting in the afternoons or evenings trying to gain more knowledge. And then, you know, he, he's awesome in the walkthroughs. He, he goes through every – if he's not in the, if he's not in taking a rep, he's back next to me talking through it mentally uh, and taking those, rep, taking those mental reps even when he's not in. 